Yo, what is up guys, Ultrapaws back, uh, here narrating one of my snake games, uh, I played this earlier today against Soulwind, uh, yeah, Doc's being lazy, so he doesn't want to do it, so he's making me do this for him, give him some free content, you see he's already DCing, nice German net, but, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll talk about my team quickly, um, I know Soulwind has a tendency to bring fatter stuff, uh, so I wanted some good balance, uh, breakers, so I have a Steelzy Heatran and Bandit Hoopa, um, Plus Wish Clefable, so I could keep them healthy, get them in multiple times per game. Uh, rocks on that uh, standard Spadef uh, Gastro. Heat Wave Torn because it helps with um, mostly with Mawile because I, I was really afraid of Mawile. I know Soulwind has used that quite a lot in OLT. So I'll, besides just Tran, since in, Tran Z uh, is Z, right? So I don't get that passive leftovers recovery. So I'm not. It's not a good check to Mawile at all. So I wanted to have something else for that, so I have a uh, bulky Heat Wave Torn, and then a uh, Scarf Cartana. Uh, right off the bat, I know Pinsir's like a huge threat to my team. I'm really afraid of that thing, especially because one of my ways to revenge it, uh, which is uh, Scarf's March Strike, I get trapped by the zone. Uh, but yeah, so I, I lead off with Clefable because I have a good feeling he's leading uh, Rotom because it would, uh, it would cover my uh, Tornadus lead fairly well. So I felt pretty comf confident he'd be leading that. So I leave Clef, get my rocks up immediately. As Soulwind is going to go hard into the pincer right here. Uh, yeah, but I feel like if I, I need to get rocks up to kind of try and limit how many times the pincer is able to get in this game. So uh, rocks go up, and now I look like I'm probably just going to have to uh, sack one, turn two. Um, l this is probably the most useless member on my team, either this or Heatran. Uh, Heatran is sem somewhat useless because he does have the Rotom, which walls my set. But at the same time, Tran's nice for the uh, for the Kartana. If it's choice, uh, it's yeah. If if it's a choice Kartana, then keeping the uh, Heatran around is nice. So what I end up doing here, I think, is just Moon Blasting for damage, rather than like sacking the pit or sacking Tran. I think damage off on the Pincer is more important because then it'll give me an easier time to revenge this and prevent it from coming in freely, uh, you know, the rest of the game. Uh, and, like, the train can't kill me in... Or, I mean, the um, the pincer can't kill me in one, so I was like, okay, I'll get 40% off, whatever. And then I see the pincer throw up rocks, and I'm like, what the hell? Uh, I was, like, really confused by this. I thought it'd be, like, defensive rocks Lando for Zygarde, and then Scarf Cart was my initial thought looking at this team. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm able to get off a nice 40%. Uh, the pincer... Also, I guess I'm seeing it now, showed Mold Breaker. I didn't even realize that. If I knew that it was Mold Breaker, I would have known he was probably going to rocks there. But, yeah, I, I actually didn't even know that. I didn't realize that until I watched the replay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to lie and try and say I made some, like, God predict that he'd be rocks pincer. I didn't even consider it. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to Moonblast again because now the pincer is going to pretty much have to die with me. Which is really amazing because then it puts it in range of, uh, of getting killed by my Torn's helmet. So if it ever came back in, it wouldn't really be able to run through my six, right? I'd be able to, if anything, sack Tornadus and it would die to helmet and then that'd be the end of Pincer. So that was definitely my idea here. I'm definitely moon blasting. Is I moon blast, do a clean 46, and you see now it's in helmet range. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to try and uh, attempt to sack Lefable here. As you're going to see Solon pull out. The absolutely crazy tech here. Um, <laughs> just wait for it. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming he thought I might stall him. Uh, I don't know, maybe because he's like, oh yeah, he, he's the one that made that stupid Avalog stall. So he might stall me. So I'm going to bring my um, Mold Breaker Pincer to get up rocks versus that. But uh, yeah, I'm not bringing that team to Snake if people all know that I made it. That's, that'd be stupid. Uh, so yeah, here, Pincer... I'm thinking about my play, I guess, but yeah, at this point, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, I think I was considering, like, sacking, uh, sacking Torn because it would just die to Helmet. There, the Pincer would die to Helmet, but I think Torn's too important for the Kartana, which otherwise is, like, an insane threat, so. Oh, no, what happened is Doc DC'd. Yeah, he told me he DC'd there. <laughs> so I kill the Pincer because you see it goes for Facade. So it's some, like, stall-breaking Pincer, some terrible set. And I was, like, counting my blessings. I was like, oh, my God. Thank God it was, like, that set. Because <laughs> if it was any other set, I would have gotten destroyed. So I go uh, Gastrodon on the Specs Ninja. Is uh, Solwyn pulls it to uh, Kartana. And Kartana is going to show that it is banded here, doing a nice 60 to my Helmet Torn. 
Uh, and now what I'm going to do is throw off a Heat Wave because it will kill the Kartana. But what I'm hoping to do is catch the Magnezone. Because if I do catch the Magnezone with a Heat Wave, then it's not going to be able to trap my, um, my Kartana anymore. And he does go Magnezone on Predicted Cane or U-Turn. And I'm able to Heat Wave that thing. And now it is in range of uh, Leaf Blade. So this is like amazing. It sets up great for my Scarf Cart. Uh, he has no good answers to that anymore now that like... The, the Magnezone just took 65. Uh, I U-turn there on the Rotom because U-turn was free. If he wanted to stay in, which I didn't think... I thought like Rotom was pretty free for him. If he wanted to stay in, I have a 100% switch in with Gastrodon. And I could throw off free Scalds. So I really felt like staying in was no... Or U-turning, there was no drawback. Because like I said, if he stays in, I get a free Gastrodon. Um, the reason why I brought Gastrodon this week is because I saw Solwyn loved uh, Protein Gren. And like a pretty like big variety of different types of protein greninjas and gastrodon is like the only thing that covers like all the different protein gren sets and even then like z fight could be problematic for it if it's chipped but uh it's about as good as you're gonna get that's why i really wanted to bring gastrodon this week uh i leaf blade into the landorus uh do a good chunk to that so it can't come in on leaf blade anymore um i was under the assumption this was now I'm under the assumption this is Scarf Landers because it was Rock's Pincer and Banded Cartana and Specs uh, Specs Grind. So I felt pretty comfortable that this was going to be Scarf Lando. Uh, I go Clef because it's pretty useless at 20%. And I was like, okay, if he kills me, he kills me. And then I didn't want to go hard torn on potential edge, which would have been bad for me because I still want that because it's able to check Cartana. Um, but yeah, so here I'm going to definitely go into my Gastrodon. I don't want to let this evolve because then my Gastrodon no longer checks it. So I'm forced to go Gastro here. Uh, it's already looking really good for me, but my one, the one thing I'm really afraid about is if he decides to go for Flinch and gets it, that makes it really tough on me. But I'm able to just recover here. As he goes back to Cart, I think this is where I'm going to sack the Clefable. Uh, if you haven't noticed here, I got the nice Stranger Things nickname scheme going on here, Goat Show. Uh, I've been doing that for all my games, pick a different show. It's a, I think it's a pretty cool naming scheme, if I had to say. So you see Banded Leaf Blade come out. So now I could either go into uh, my Kartana or the Tran. The thing is, if I go Tran, he just goes Rotom or Gren. Or really, he'll go Rotom because the Gren's already taken rocks a couple times. And I I feel like that doesn't get me anywhere. So I, I think about this play a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I, I could either go Torn, Tran, or Cart. If I go Tran, though, or Cart, or I'm sorry, if I go Torn or Tran, then it lets in Rotom for free. And I don't want to U-turn on this in case he wants to stay in. So I decide just to go Kartana. It's pretty free. Uh, Sacred Sword is really free for me here. If he wants to go Lando, so be it. It's going to pretty much put Lando in range of rocks. So it can't come into any attack from my Kartana next time. And at this point, I feel really comfortable that my uh, Kartana will eventually win this game. Whether it be with uh, Leaf Blade or Sacred Sword. Uh, depending on what gets sacked. So he does go Landers here. Is I Sacred Sword. And I do 13. So now you see it's going to come back in and die to any hit the next time with Rocks Up. So I just go Hard Tran. Uh, knowing that U Turn's definitely coming out. Is he goes into Gren. Now I know he's not going to Hydro. There's no way he Hydros into my Gastrodon. And I'll live Dark Pulse because I'm like bulky and modest. Uh, so I was just like, fuck it. I'll just waste my Z here. It would have killed the Gren. And. Yeah, it would have easily killed the Greninja, and obviously covers the double to to, uh, to Kartana, but there's like no way he clicks Hydro Pump there in that situation. And pretty much now what this means is that I just auto win the game by clicking Leaf Blade a few times, as long as the Gren doesn't evolve and be able to kill me with Shuriken. So now, I'm going to Gastrodon here, pretty much. Uh, the Gren's at 51. I'm just praying, like, please don't let me get flinched here, Lord Jesus. Uh, at this point, it looks like Gastrodon kind of slows the rest of the team. The only thing that could really do damage to it is the 20% uh, Landorus. But yeah, the Gren here is fishing for flinches. It's Solon's only play. At this point, after the one recover, I realized, I was like, okay, there's no point of me recovering. What I want to do is just Earthquake this, because it puts it in Rock's range, and then I auto-win the game. So I was like, okay, thank God. Um... I didn't get double flinched, so I just sacked the Tornadus here, uh, because now, like I said, the Gren's dead to rocks, and he's locked into Dark Pulse, and the uh, the Landers isn't going to be able to fog, or the, Ro well, I'm sure it's on Rotom, the Rotom's not going to be able to fog, because I'm able to just lock into Leaf Blade here, I take out the Landorus, uh, get the Beast Boost to get back to neutral, the Min Roll on Magnezone is like 29, and it comes in at 23, so at this point, I've won the game with my Scarf Cart, um, 
I was like a big fan of how I played this game, uh, and I was also really thankful that the pincer was not standard because that would have made the matchup really, 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 really hard for me. Um, but yeah, the the SD or yeah SD Rock's facade was about the best thing I could have hoped for in this situation. Uh, and yeah, the cart's gonna come through in the end. Nice Will Byers action. Uh, yeah, not really much else to say about this. But yeah, I guess because I was mentioning how I'm bulky, modest Tran, I guess I could talk about that spread a little bit. I have speed for, I think it was like Bantars and defensive Landos and Bulus and stuff like that. But then it's modest, like 200 per attack with like a lot of HP. I think I have like over 150 HP. It helps me take a couple hits from Lele. It helps me check some stuff better because I felt like it needed the HP on this team. But I also wanted it to be Z. So kind of a cool set there, I feel like. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of the game. Take this one over Soulwind. Uh, I had a, some terrible luck uh, phase one with just random bullshit happening. So I was really happy to get this win under my belt. Uh, and I play again in a couple hours. So hopefully that one goes as well as this one did. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my man Dockerich. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.